these super stampers, I wanted to show you um, my 3D swap for the Greek incentive trip that is coming up tomorrow. Um, I will already be on the incentive trip by the time that this video goes live, hopefully for my Tuesday at 9 a.m. regular spot. So hello from Greece. Um, this is a Tic Tac holder that you can put in your purse. And this is my 3D swap for the Greece incentive trip. And um, you'll notice that my dinosaur is gonna have very fresh breath. I used um, a couple of Stampin' Up mini pearls, uh, the smallest that come in our jewel pearls. And I added just a dot of um, a blend marker, a black blend marker to color his eyes, and then I did glue dot a mint in his mouth because he might have a little bad breath. So to get started, I cut a piece of paper to four by three and three quarter by three, and I rounded the corners like this. And then um, I cut, I mean, I scored the paper at two and two and three quarter, and then I rounded all four corners. Now this is that triple punch that I can also put a nice little oval shape in my um, in my cardstock, and I did that, but I did it a little bit later on. First, I cut the designer paper. So the designer paper ended up being two and three quarters inches tall, because this is three inches tall, um, by four. And then I cut it down like this. So these are the pieces that go on the end of my gift card, I mean, on, on the end of my Tic Tac holder. Now I got one in my mouth, so I'm, I'm just crunching as I talk here. And then this is a half an inch strip that sits in the middle. And then these guys go on this side. So what I did was I cut these down to two and three quarter by one and three quarter on each side and left the half inch in the middle. And I tried to cut them so that they would connect. So when you go around the corner that they would connect, this one doesn't, but most of the ones for my um, incentive trip swaps did. So I glued all of that down and then punched my holes to make the little gap. Okay, so then I put five dimensionals on the back of this um, Tic Tac holder and I did use all f I did peel off all five this time because this one I really want it to stick. It's kind of heavy, um, you know, as paper would be concerned. So you want to peel them all off, and then you just fold this over and slide it in like this. And um, by the power of TV, I pre-cut and um, stamped these. I I actually stamped these after I cut out the dinosaurs. This is from the dinosaur bundle and um, I just stuck him on with adhesive. I tied a ribbon through and um, tied it off. And you don't even need to open them in order to use them. So that was my first project that I wanted to show you. <coughs> Pardon me. I am a huge fan of um, celebrating people's accomplishments. And um, this card is a special card for my downline, Michelle, who has earned her second incentive trip. You know, it's one thing to earn an incentive trip because you can go for it one year and it's it's doable for really anybody. But to continually t to continue on and earn them every year, she works so hard and I am so impressed by her. So this is a card that I made for her. It took me about five hours because <laughs> I'm crazy. I started with two envelopes and I'm gonna I'm gonna back out a little to give you a bigger view. Um, I started with two envelopes and I attached them with a piece of paper in the back. I think this should be a class at some point. And then I covered over that um, that paper with some mats. So um, I, you can see my envelope flaps are under here. And then I just cut some quarter sheets to fit my envelope fronts. And you can see there's a private note to her in here. And um, you're just one of those people who make my life better just by being in it. That definitely applies. Um, this is embossed under here with the script um, embossing folder. And then I cut another layer to go on top and I embossed all the edges of my paper to add interest. 
I added a third layer on the inside, which I also heat embossed and um, heat embossed with the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. And there's some ribbon going under there for texture. And um, we popped this up on a die cut shape and it's all heat embossed with uh, glimmery black um, embossing powder. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over. Um, and then I need these panels to fit uh, my connection. So in the middle, it's gonna pop up and become a purse. And this is the bottom of my purse all finished. Um, but when she opens it up, she'll, she'll see these um, inspirational pieces on the inside. Again, they're all uh, heat embossed with the um, shimmer basic black embossing powder that's out. And then I love this one. Um, everyone reminds me of her in different ways. Um, she's still working to earn um, her incentive trip to Maui, but I know for a fact she's going to do it. She's just amazing. Um, and then life was meant for good friends and great adventures. And boy, we certainly have had our share of them. She lives a good distance away from me, 700 miles away, but we still find a way to meet up with each other as much as possible. We try every every couple of months or so. Um, and good things are sure to happen. So um, what I need to do is finish this up. So I made a topper for this. It measured um, four and a quarter inches square. And then I cut a piece, an, another piece out. I'm gonna show you some close-ups here. I actually heat embossed these brads. I, I put the, the part that opens up, like the envelope part, and um, I put it over my Take Your Pick tool and I put it in some Bursa Mark and then heat embossed the brads along with the one that goes on the purse top. So this is just a black piece of cardstock with black embossing powder on top. And then my brad was embossed and then I embossed that pearl in. So I heated it up so that the embossing powder is really gonna make that pearl stick. So she can actually, Maybe use this as a purse going to dinner one night if she if she's light and wants to um, show it off a little bit. It's kind of cool. Um, and it's definitely one of those cards that you only make for special people. What I want to do is finish it, and I, I've been waiting for a couple of days. Sorry for the scramble here. For my Velcro dots to come in. Um, I just need one. And this is the soft side. This is the um, the hook side. I'm sorry, this is the loop side. And I'm gonna put it over the brad right there. And you can even see I embossed the edges on this to give it some um, depth. So when, when, she, when we close it, it'll close up like a purse and fold flat. Isn't that amazing? Um, I had so much fun making it. it. It really was a five hour card though. But that's how much I love my team. Um, they're actually having a sale on the starter kit right now. It is, you get 30 extra dollars. Usually it's an amazing deal. Um, you get uh, 125 for 99 and free shipping, but they have it on sale for, um, you get 155 instead, which is totally amazing. I just want to make sure that that gets tucked in there. Okay, so here's my topper and I want to make sure that when she goes to open it, that it doesn't rip the card apart. So this is the soft and fuzzy side. And what you can do here, and I'll just buzz in again. Um, you can give it like a haircut. So on the soft and furry side is the side you give it a haircut and it will make this less tacky so that when she goes to open it, it doesn't rip it apart. So let's close this up and see what we've got. Oh, that's much better. So like, it's just a little, it's just a little bit tacky instead of um, uh, super sealed. Actually, I think I'm gonna take just a little more cause I don't want the, I don't want the whole thing to come apart when she opens it, but it's the, it's the finishing touch. Um, so that, oh here, it's so pretty. I'm gonna, this is her, um, her card. It's so beautiful. So I hope that, you have enjoyed um, seeing a little bit of a treat from my team. I, I always try to treat them special, but I think earning an incentive trip is quite crazy. Um, 
my members of my team who earn an incentive trip, I bought I buy them a Pandora bracelet the first time and then they get a charm every year. So she'll get her charm, but I wanted to make her an extra special over the top card. Thanks for joining me this week. Um, if you want to come back next week, we will start a series on the Stamparatus. I want to show you a bunch of different ways to use the Stamparatus over the next few weeks. Thank you so much. Have a great week. And if I can, I'll try and go live on my Facebook page um, just to check in from the cruise ship if I have enough bandwidth. But have a great week. Bye, guys.